Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam and I welcome you all to my channel. In today's video, I will tell you how you can learn English in a very fun way. If you are lazy, if you are tired and if you feel that you don't want to learn English because it is very difficult and you feel it is very hard. So this lesson is for you because in this lesson I will tell you few steps which you can follow and you can learn English without any effort, without any problem, without any trouble. That also all by yourself, all alone. So before I start, one small request my dear friends, if you like this video, please do subscribe. Let's begin with the first step. You have to watch videos without subtitles. Now you will say, my God, today I started learning English and you were saying to watch English videos without subtitles? Is this teacher crazy or mad? No, I'm not crazy. I'm not mad. Let me explain you. See, when you watch a movie or a show in English with the subtitles, you will be concentrating more on the subtitles. You will be concentrating more on the vocabulary part. You will be concentrating on the new phrases or new expressions which you come across. So you will not enjoy. But what did I tell you at the beginning? This should be fun. Whatever you are learning, you should not feel that you are learning something difficult thing. And yes, very important thing, you should watch at least for 30 minutes. Please don't take any break in between. The main purpose here is to develop the language sense. Look at the expression. Look at the tone of how they speak. The facial expression, their hand movements, the way they interact with others. This is the first step towards learning any language. Just observe how they talk. So the first week, the first week you just need to concentrate on how they talk, how English is spoken. Got it? Just listen very carefully, very attentively. Step number two. After one week, this is the time when you have to watch movie with subtitles. Yes, my dear friends, you have to switch on the subtitle word. Subtitles now. Go for a video which is approximately 10 minutes, which has a subtitles on it. I would suggest choose something which is familiar to you. For me, if you ask me, I will tell, I would love to see some travel vlog or some product related videos, which I am aware of. Why I'm talking about this? Because in travel blogs, I am very much aware about the northeast part of India. Now, if I watch something in English which shows the northeast part of India, I'll be able to relate. I'll be able to understand somehow whatever he's talking, whatever he's showing in the video, the places, the food, the culture, I'll be able to relate. So it is easy for you to watch something which you are aware of. As for example, product related videos, suppose Pepsodent or Colgate. If some promo videos are there, which explains about these products. And healthy gums? Yes. Try new Colgate Active Salt. New Colgate Active Salt. It'll be easy for you to understand because you use this product. I use this product every day. Toothpaste, something related to that. Or if you're a tech guy, if you love technology, you can watch videos, technical videos in English. You will benefit a lot. Here, you will be able to understand the context and also the sentences. Got it, my dear friends? Let's move on to the third point. Of how to learn English with fun. Select a small video. 
say for five minutes or six minutes. Play one sentence, repeat after that. You need to do this process. Let me show you. Hey everyone, it's Pritika. Welcome to Paris. Hey everyone, this is Kritika and welcome to Paris. So I made it to Paris last evening. So I made it to Paris last evening and I am beyond excited to explore the city. I am beyond excited to explore this city. So this is how you can play a small part of the video and you can repeat after that. And remember, you need to add little emotions to that. The way they talk, the way they express their words, their facial expression, you need to copy those things also. Remember. Now, you may come across few new words. When you are imitating, when you are copying someone in that video, you may come across some new words. You can note those words down and try to find the meaning. But personally, I never used to do. One or two times I did, I remember, when I was very curious to know the meaning of that word. Other than that, I, did, I never did. I tried understanding what they want to say in the video. So try this technique. This will help you to improve your English. Next step. Talk to yourself with emotions. Take up any topic which you like and you need to talk to yourself. This is very important to develop your thinking skill and also your confidence. Take up any topic, just for example, my hobbies. Talk anything, small sentences. I love to play guitar. Since childhood, I am playing guitar. I can play many songs in my guitar. I also love planting and traveling. So these are my hobbies. So in this way, talk slow, talk in short sentences and talk to yourself. Some topics I will tell you which will help you is some incident which happened in your life or your exam day. You know, those things you will never forget. Suppose an incident which happened to you, I will tell you. Here is a mark. You can see very closely, I'll say, black mark. So last month, I was traveling to Coimbatore, a place where I recently visited. I met with an accident and I got hurt in my nose. So those things which happen to you, you will not forget. And it will be easy for you to express. Got it? So in this way, you can pick up some topic, keep talking to yourself for some time. We are done with four steps, my dear friends. Long way you have come. This you should take at least four to five months. After this, the next step, you have to start with reading. Find a book of your choice and read. This will help you to improve your vocabulary, your pronunciation and your confidence level will automatically boost. It will go high. Remember this. Don't go for some hi-fi books at the beginning. Choose some easy books. Children's books or cartoons or some easy novels. Try it out. Benefits of reading easy books? You find easy language, short sentences, easy grammars. And that will help you to improve your English. Let's go to the final point. Take up some online classes or offline classes where you can interact with people. Remember, unless you interact with people, your confidence will not build and you won't be able to speak in English properly. So it is very important to talk to people, have conversation with others. If you go out, if you find some stranger, Talk in a casual way. What is your name? Or if you're going to get petrol for your car or vehicle, please give me one liter petrol. Just small, small sentences. This will boost your confidence. So my dear friends, these are the topics which I wanted to share with you. I'm sure you have learned a lot of lesson today. If you like this video, once again, please do subscribe. I wish you all the very best. Thank you.